Uh, I want you to make some noise for the number one team in the East, the greatest team in the land. I'm working on this new album for the city, and tonight, yeah, that's right. And, and, and by the looks of it, tonight this win streak is over, so let's go get it, yeah. By the looks of it, tonight this win streak is over, so let's go get it, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, He's the best. He just did it. He, he four, just dropped it three. like that on Houston, and always great to see him. But he addressed the crowd during the commercial break. The trigger man. Drake's playing a little defense there behind Trevor Ariza. He's probably telling him, "I'm calling you on the flip phone after the game." <laughs> Here we go. Rockets down three. Ariza, they're out of timeouts. Goes to Johnson. Back to Ariza. They don't foul. Horton for the tie. In a big time game. And Drake, as he said, he called it. Pressure here on the ball. Patrick Patterson, be active. Get your hands up. Drake. Right there. Trying to help the cause. And a five second. <laughs> I think Drake was calling that five <laughs> seconds out there, man. <laughs> Here's Durant. And he's unable to slam it down. Good catch by that fan over there. That'll get the crowd going. That's got Drake out of his seat. Yeah, here we go. He has something to cheer about. Uh, I think tonight we started off slow. Then defense picked up. We put on the foul line 40 plus times. I mean, that's, you know, you know, we put a team on the foul line that much. We put a team on the foul line that much, they bound to score a lot. So, uh, but I think overall we played a good game. You know, and after the first quarter, we moved the basketball well, and, you know, everybody was involved. And uh, this was Drake Knight here, and uh, he's the one who just interrupted us. What, give me a taste of what the uh, trash talk was like, what the, uh, you know, what the interaction is like with your, your buddy there. I don't give a damn about no damn Drake Knight. <laughs> Talking about uh, Big Dog and Billy Owens at his best. At his best, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. Final seconds. And a red hits from near midcourt. A three for the red. <laughs> Time runs out. And that is the end of the third quarter. Kevin Durant has Drake with the astounding look. He now has 38 points. And the Warriors are down by just eight as we head to the fourth. You see his reaction when you nailed the uh, deep three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He talks a lot of trash over there on that sideline. So anytime <laughs> I can... Throw it back in his face is uh, definitely a win for me. John, you're getting body by 20 tonight. Six buzz. Six buzz. You're a buck team, IG. Candidate center with the Wizards trailing the Raptors by eight with 825 remaining here in the second quarter. John Wall and Drake having some work. It's a tough shot. Lowry kicks. Miles. You bet. Seven points outdueling John Wall, who had 29 points and nine assists. Raptors will take a 2 0 lead back to the nation's capital for games three and four. We'll come back to discuss it right after this. Well, we know Drake and John Wall are close friends, a lot of playful trash talking, and that has continued here tonight. It's hard for me to read John Wall's looks from there. <laughs> oh. 
The top seeded Raptors playing with a pep today. Step Lowry puts him back in front. Timeout Washington. Half and it's 24 21. There's another good defensive play. Nogueira with a deflection right back to Nogueira for the finish. Defense leads to offense. So when you're struggling, Jake, that gets him out of his chair. When you're struggling to score the basketball, what's the, the final six of the year? Broke his leg in the uh, training camp for the U.S. national team. Here's Steph Curry with that quick release. Some say it's a point. Basketball in. Now his big task is what he's going to do next. You know, and I, and I think he's got some plans, and I look forward to seeing you know where his life goes from this point forward, and uh, him, him and his wife and the kids. We're up about where it's like it look. It's looking like a potential 30 piece right now. <laughs> Norman Powell looks great. Demar Derozan set to have the season of his life. Kyle Lowry's looking streamlined. Lucas tatted up Lou's got more face tats than any rapper that I know. Did you not get the email today, the text about the blue suits? All, I, all, I, all I got was a digital image of Lucas Naguera with a Louis Vuitton face <laughs> tat. That's all I got. By the way, we're playing Philadelphia and I, I can never wear blue in my life. Well, there you go. We're, it's a red and white thing. But how about Amir? Yeah, I mean, we miss him. We miss him, you know what I mean? Great shot by Amir. Unfortunately, it's not going to do much damage with a score like that, boys. I ain't going to Drake, what about the third quarter woes? You've been following this team? Sorry? What about the third quarter woes for the Raptors? You've been following this team. You got to. I feel like, I feel like uh, Jeremy Lamb has the answers to the third quarter woes tattooed on his right leg. <laughs> it's cryptic. It's cryptic. It's drawing me in, boys. I don't know. There's something about it. What, what is it's that? Me, it's mesmerizing. Is that? Yeah, yeah. What do you ask for when you get that? You know what I, mean? I, I don't Give know. Give me the Da Vinci code. <laughs> oh, Nagara from downtown. Oh. Huh? That's what you want. A oh. seven footer shooting threes. It's got to be the face tats. <laughs> it's got to be the face tats. Oh, this guy's all trouble right here. Well, he tell him all the red. Stump that's he's linty. Your, yeah, he's linty. We need he's your linty. lint rollers back. Yeah. Do you want me to interview? Who do you want me to interview? I'm, yeah, whoever, whoever. When do I take want. this thing off? <laughs>